In the last episode of my brand new Create series, we set up this very first starter location right here, containing a bunch of Create machinery. And we also set up a system that can actually make these machines run with stress units. And we also set up an automatic cobblestone generator, which I'm really happy about. And in today's episode, I want to set up seven brand new and brand completely automatic, that's not a word, but completely automatic tree farms. That is one automatic tree farm per one unique sapling. But before we do that, we have a problem at our base, and that is we only have 256 stress units. It's not a problem as such, but if we ever want to add another machinery, which I do want to add uh, later down the road, uh, this is probably not going to be enough. Now I could add, you know, a windmill or something like that, but why do that when you can simply just slap on another large water wheel? Which is exactly what I'm going to be doing. Just gotta terraform a little bit, grab some water, extend water wheel, and place water. Boom! Perfect. That should now have given our system yep, 512 extra SU. We're no longer in the red. That's good. With that done, I can now go to bed. Now for us to actually go ahead and make these seven automatic tree farms, we're going to be needing quite a lot of resources. We're going to be needing copper, zinc, iron, and while I do have a bunch of it right here, we don't have enough iron whatsoever, even though it's a stack. Trust me, it's not enough for this. So uh, we, we need to go mining. So I'm quickly going to smelt some extra iron, go ahead and get some extra iron pickaxes, and then we are off to that amazing cave that we found last time. Now while that iron is smelting, allow me to introduce to you one a new mod to the mod pack, which is the Curious API, which allows us to have our engineer's goggles on this slot right here, while also wearing a helmet. That's pretty cool, and now I look awesome with goggles on. And with two extra iron pickaxes, it is off to the mine. I need anthracite, I need tough for building. Again, I need iron, extra copper and zinc doesn't hurt either. So let's go. Actually, hold on, I am missing something. Food. I need more food. <laughs> now let's go. Now while I'm gathering all these amazing resources, if you have been a viewer for some time and really enjoy what you see here on the channel, a great way to support me even more than watching my videos like liking, subscribing and all that stuff is support with a small monthly subscription on Patreon. You can subscribe to me on Patreon for just $1 a month, which gives you a special role in my Discord server while supporting me and the channel greatly. And if you go for the higher tier, Iron Supporter, you will even receive a personal shoutout in my next video. If this is something that you are interested in, you can check out the link down below in the description or go to patreon.com slash binaryvigilante. And there we go. All the resources that we're going to be needing, hopefully anyway, has been gathered. I'm smelting a bunch of stuff here, getting more charcoal actually I have been spelting most of it so hopefully we are ready to go however before we continue I want to make a very special item and that is the second mod that I have added to this mod pack which is the traveler's backpack this is a great backpack mod it is fairly easy to make which this is the recipe right here uh, and we get upgraded further down the line as well but first in order to make this thing I'm going to be needing to make a sleeping bag which means I'm going to be needing some wool and thankfully there are neighboring sheep right over here Join and yoink thank you fellas and before we head back in I actually do need a little bit of sand I forgot about that and now with this wool I can go ahead and make a sleeping bag and I should have everything that I need I just need to wait for this glass to smelt so that I can actually make two of these backpack tanks and there we go that is enough to make the second backpack tank and with that I should have of course I need a chest of course I do thankfully I have one right here so we can go ahead and do just this now this backpack is really cool if we right click while holding it we get this cool interface not only do we have have a built-in crafting table over here which is really cool and then we have the storage over here but it also has tanks where we can store I presume water I actually haven't tried this yep that is pretty cool don't know how we take it out though but just like that simple as that and if we click this button it's now on us we're carrying it but we still have the chest plate on us we don't need to take that off in order to carry it that's pretty cool and we can open the backpack while wearing it and another really cool feature if you hold down shift and right click you place the backpack then you can right click it and press this button uh, cat deploy, check the surrounding area. Maybe it's because it's actually on a slab. Uh, if we do this, there we go. You now have a bed. You don't, you don't need to waste space carrying a bed. So this is really cool. Now we could go ahead and make some upgrades, but I'm 
not going to do that because we're going to be needing all of this iron right here. In fact, I really, really hope that we actually have enough, which is something else that I did other than gathering resources. I have prepared this area right over here. I've cleared out a bunch of trees and I have placed, as you can see, a bunch of markers because we're going to be having a one automatic tree farm for every single Minecraft sapling that are there. So if we go ahead and look at that, that is seven saplings in total. We got oak, spruce, birch, jungle, acacia, dark oak, and cherry. And there are seven locations marked out right here. And one thing that I really just quickly want to show you is something that I don't have on me. One second. I'll actually show it over here on the other side of the jungle because I will be needing more jungle saplings anyway. But yes, if you have a mechanical saw, which are, which is the ones that we're going to be building today, and in fact, a lot of them, rotate it so the saw blade is turning towards the tree, slap in a hand crank, and then just keep, keep rotating this. And then eventually the entire tree has been taken down just like that. It does use a little bit of hunger but honestly it's so worth it and it's with these mechanical saws that we're going to be making those automated trees automated trees no automated tree farms ay 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 so it is time to do a bunch of crafting and the first thing that we need to get is wheat yeah i need i think i actually only need one piece of wheat we need to drop those right in here no i believe i need two two wheat there we go right into our uh, miller and then we get wheat flour and yes i only need two so I only did need to put in one wheat. Then I need to grab my shears again. And I need to grab, I believe, yes, just one fern actually. And I need to drop that into our mill as well. Because that will produce some green dye. Then I need to leave the comfort, the comfort of my home to get one of these fellas. And right. If you have played this mod pack, which is by the way available on Mod Rinth, you will probably recognize the specific flower. And if we take this flower and drop that in here, I really shirt yep we will be getting some white dye go ahead and combine that in here and that is lime dye and uh nope that's I'm too fast here i need to actually add some water to this so i need to go and grab a little bit more water all right make the second dough combine dye of that with lime and we have slime balls and if we just go ahead and take an iron sheet and then a very very precious iron nugget and combine those together we will get super glue that is really important as you will see later now the next thing we need is going to be a bunch of water wheels so i'm going to grab these shafts i'm also going to grab these anti casings because we're going to be needing every bit of stuff that we can get our hands on now for these we're going to be needing seven in total and they can just go in my backpack just like that now i need to make 27 saws which for the saw that is four iron ingots in total so to make 27 i'm going to need 108 iron ingots and then a third of that needs to be pressed into iron plates and according to my calculations, that is everything split up. So we need 27 iron ingots and the rest of these needs to be pressed. There we go. Add that to the press and I will just have to wait here for quite a while. Actually, no, because I'm going to be needing a bunch of andesite casings, which means I'm going to be needing to make quite a bit of andesite alloy. So I'm going to convert a bunch of the sink together with the andesite and make a bunch of it. Boom. And I'm not going to lie, I think I will probably not need an entire stack but i'm gonna be needing a lot which means i'm going to place down all of these birch logs strip them all and while i'm doing that i'm going to take all these and place down those right there continue to strip the logs and have some fun placing down all these while this is satisfying it's going to be an absolute pain to mine all this up and there we go that's the final one and time to mine them all up please subscribe for the sake of my sanity and from the sound of that it sounds like yep these are in Indeed done and I should be able to make exactly 27 so that I have 28 in total that was quite expensive now we aren't quite done I need to make a storage interface specifically 14 of these which means I'm going to be needing even more iron uh, I don't I actually think I might need to go and mine even more but there we go and I should now be able to go ahead and craft for a 8, 12, 14, so that's 16, but you know, three iron ingots remaining. All right, so there we go. That is 14 in total. That is literally a perfect.
perfect. Now the next thing that I'm going to be needing is actually, believe it or not, drawers. And I want a drawer for each type of wood and it has to be these two by two drawers and you'll see why in a moment or later. So we need to make four chests, convert these to that and then boom, we have a birch drawer. And I'm going to save these because we will be using those at a later date as well. And there we go, that is an oak drawer. And I might actually have enough to go ahead and make a jungle drawer as well. E yep, perfect. It's a bit funny, you're making a wood farm to gain more wood, but that wood farm requires a lot of wood to make it. <laughs> Now in my notes, I need um, seven harpers. So yeah, I'm gonna make a new iron pickaxe and I'm gonna go to another cave area over here. I feel, yep, right over here, I think actually is where I'm gonna go. I think I have seen some iron in there. Hopefully that's going to be enough because seven harpers, that is seven times five iron ingots and that is an easy 35 iron right there. Oh boy. Ooh, there's a cave down there. Could be good. Uh, uh, maybe oh that's sink sink is good too sink is actually really good uh okay yep this this could do all right i think i grabbed everything from this cave except for a bit of copper here or there um but still not enough iron Ooh, what do we have here this is right next to to the place Ooh, okay we have plenty of iron there we even have a tough location right here okay that's cool and plenty of okay this is this is very close to my home this like has to be my quarry or something wait wait is that this is actually a cave behind a waterfall okay this place is officially one of the coolest places in this world <laughs> That, I mean, I mean, what beats that? What's this? Limestone? Um, hmm, that actually looks kind of cool. I will come back for that. And there we go. I have officially gotten over 35 iron. I'm just going to grab what else I can from this cave that is not copper, because otherwise I'll be here for an eternity, and then I'll go back home. Oh, wow, yeah, that, that would definitely last an eternity. <laughs> Time to do a bunch of smelting. And while all that is smelting, I'm going to take a bunch of this tough and turn it into polished turf cut tough slab and also cut tough bricks i think is going to look the best and with exactly enough iron i should hopefully be able to provide all the chests that we need and there we go seven hoppers has been crafted okay what am i missing right you may think that we're done but the adventure has only just begun you see the next thing that i'm going to be needing is deployers specifically i'm going to be needing 21 of these and this recipe well that's going to be interesting because we need electron tube and also brass hand if we wait with the brass hand just for a little bit okay and go to the electron tube oh yeah this requires a lot more iron oh dear me right ignore the iron sheet i'll sort that out off camera but we need polished rose quartz and to get that we are going to be needing to use some sandpaper together with some rose quartz and you make that using uh redstone but also nether quartz which uh if you couldn't tell i don't have the other thing that we need from the nether is for the brass hand we need to make brass to make brass you mix sink together with copper but what do you need for that yeah we're going to be needing a blaze burner so uh yeah that's gonna be that so ladies and gentlemen if you thought we were even close at being done well you guessed wrong because uh we're not we are only just getting started so basically what i'm saying is we need to go to the nether now i don't have a diamond pickaxe so the only way we can actually do this is if i do the good old-fashioned way of uh, building another portal which is get some scaffolding blocks get to a lava place and really hope that i don't mess this up and i will actually be needing the sand for the sandpaper so i think if i'm not mistaken i go up and i place that there and grab some water and place it on the side because then it's gonna go yeah i think that's right then i grab some lava and then i place one there okay yep 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 so far so good place the other one yes then I place the other one. Yeah, yeah. See, see, I know how to do this. I may not be able to do it very fast like a pro, but I still know how to do it, which uh, it puts me up there, you know? Now I just gotta do this other side. Oh dear. Oh no. Well, hmm. I, uh, hmm, I'm not gonna talk about it. That's what. <laughs> and then the final one right there. Perfect. It's beautiful. Look at that. And just like that, we're going to light the portal and head on through and 
I really hope that there's actually going to be another fortress nearby, because if not, that could be a very interesting journey that I have to make, because I need a blaze. So I really hope that's that. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, yeah, this will do. Um, this will very much do. Remember, I have a bunch of Young's better mods installed, and uh, one of them, I believe, is for the Nether Fortress. Well, obviously, it's for the Nether Fortress. Um, yeah, this... Uh, yeah, this is actually... Yeah, th this is perfect. <laughs> I'll take this. And there we go. That's actually a nether rack. And oh no, I don't have a crafting table with me. Psych. Yes, I do. Just gonna do this and boom, 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 boom. And we have an empty blaze burner. And there we go. 32. That should be fine. Now I need to go ahead and find a blaze if possible. I mean, we're at a nether fortress. It should hopefully be possible. And there we go. Just right click this guy and we got a blaze burner and time to run as fast as we can. Please don't hit me. Can I, like, hit you and just jump? Yeah, perfect. Okay. Phew. Oh, no. Uh, can, can I... I can make that jump? <laughs> that... Why? There's so there's so many of them. Hold up. I'm getting cornered here. Okay, jump over here because I'm a pro. Then... Oh, no. There's one here. Okay, I can take, like, one on at a time. Two and three is getting a little bit hazardous. And then I loop back around. Yeah, and... Okay, I take you on because I have no other way to go. Okay, you know what? That stone sword actually it did just come in handy. Okay. Okay, take, uh, okay, that is two at a time. I don't want to that fight. Ah, okay, but actually, they don't take that much damage. Maybe I'm all right. Oh, and now there's a place right by my portal. Okay, well, that's not fair. Please don't, please don't, please, please don't. Oh, get me out, get me out, get me out, get me out. Okay, please tell me this movie setting. It is, okay. I'm an engineer, not a warrior, whatever, what I'm doing right now is. Okay, finally, back home. <laughs> right, so I'm going to grab all this redstone. And again, I'm going to be needing 21. Uh, do I not have enough redstone? 21 deployers. How do I not have enough redstone? Okay, um, right, this is problem. Okay, now that redstone is not the bottleneck, we can go ahead and finally make some more. So again, I needed 21. So there we go, 21 of this. I'm gonna save the rest just for a rainy day. Next, I forgot that I needed paper, but I see sugarcane right there. Yoink and yoink. Make some paper and then turn that paper into sandpaper. And now the way you get this rose quartz into polished rose quartz is if you just hold each item in your off, so one item in the off hand and one in the other, hold and right click and you will convert it just like so. However, the sandpaper does not have that much durability, so hopefully these three sandpapers are going to do the trick. One sandpaper, I believe, yep, is good for eight, so theoretically, eight, sixteen, yep, we should be good. And the final one, and boom, that is that. Then I need to go ahead and smelt down, or not smelt down, take 21 of these, put them in the press, and in the meantime, we can take a look at finally getting uh, working on the brass hand. So we need anti alloy, we have plenty of that, so we need 20 one of that. Then, according to my notes, in total, we are going to be needing 84 brass. Yeah, that, that's gonna be fine. But it should be actually fairly simple. We need 42 copper and 42 zinc, I believe. And I need to get a coal piece, I think, should be maybe, maybe two, maybe three. Let, let's go with two. So we're gonna take this guy, gonna pick it up, and then we're going to put it right below our mixer. So put it there, and then put the slab back just like so. And just because I know I will be annoyed and no one else will be annoyed, I will fix the floor real quick. There we go. Better. So now what you do is you drop the copper and the sink in here. And then we just feed this guy with some fuel so it burns up or it heats up. And then the mixer goes ahead and mixes it. And as you can see over there, we have brass ingots being made. Hopefully, hope this should be enough for us to do what we need to do. In the meantime, the iron sheet is done. I think I can stack feed things. I'm not sure. Maybe I just wasted a coal there. We'll see. Um, so now... Now we can go ahead and make these electron cubes. That is 21. And then, yeah, we, we just need to wait for this to actually finish. I'll see you when it's done. So a thing to note here, it actually stops at 64. So you need to have a way of emptying it or just not have to make as much as I do at once. But, you know, it, it's a simple solution to fix. It's a simple problem to, to fix, right? There we go. All the brass has been made, 84. And now I need to put it in the press because we need plates and yeah. More waiting time. 
While you're waiting together with me, leaving a like on this video if you enjoy it is greatly appreciated and helps out the channel. This is taking forever. First stack is complete. The remaining 20 is put on. That is 21 brass hands and now I think I need, yep, 21 and a side casing, which if I know myself correctly, I only have 15. Yep, need more inside alloy. Um, and there we go. And boom, 21 deployers. I am a happy man. However, we're not done. I'm going to need to take these saplings right here, learn my hand crank, grab one of the mechanical saws, and I need to go ahead and get some more wood. Because what I have is not enough. I, I literally ran out of wood. I, that's, yeah, I ran out of wood making a tree farm. It's a thing. And with another stack of planks, that should be all the chests that I need. Beautiful. And also, by the way, you can use this as storage, which is uh, pretty cool in the backpack. Now it is finally time ladies and gentlemen to begin making the tree farms so we have seven locations we have one two three four and nope five six six seven oh yeah seven and i think because i'm going because i'm able to see this from afar i think i'm going to need to make this one oh hello enderman i need to extend the dirt just a little bit here otherwise it's going to look very very much off Yoink. and i think because i want the oak to buy kind of be in the center i think that one that going to be the first one that we actually work on which is also potentially going to be the most difficult one to work with but we'll see how it goes may also need to push back this ground a little bit don't think i've ever seen that before and then the man climbing a tree oh never mind you better not take any of my the base blocks over there all right let's get the basics down and those basics are that i forgot something some and that is to make a seven of these mechanical bearings which do note that you don't actually need any slime to craft them hello neighbor now we can begin so this block is going to be replaced with a mechanical bearing However, this dirt needs to be dug out first of all and be replaced with some extra dirt. We're going to place a dirt block right there and then we will have one water wheel right here. And that is what is going to be powering this machine. And it is important to note the rotation of this shaft. Currently, it is going towards the left. If we go ahead and remove this water and place that here, it is going towards the right. We don't want that for this build. We want to go to let it go this way. Now, I'm not actually going to place down the water just yet. I will go ahead and grab my andesite stuff because I will need that now. Place the mechanical bearing on top of this and then put in some slabs right at the bottom here. Next, we will be placing dirt one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And then we will be connecting it just like so. Yes, so add two more to the side. Boom, boom, just like that. Fill it in. And then we're going to add a layer of this right here just all the way around i'm going to start off with one of the bricks types first and i'll add in some of these polished cut stuff in as i see fit afterwards again just to add a little bit of texturing simply because i want to and uh, you can't stop me just like that and now i could continue with the slabs but i want to have the feeling that this is actually raised from the surface like it's actually like plop onto the ground like this so we're going to connect it up using these stairs and I do realize that this is now going to be needing some sort of lighting solution, but we will come back to that. Not going to place a stair here because we are going to get back to that in a moment. Time for the handy dandy sleeping bag. And it looks like that I will need to extend this just a little bit. And uh, there we go. And I hope that this is going to be enough, but it is very possible that it is not going to be enough. But we're going to place logs like this all the way out to here and just lead it all the way over like so and we did have enough lovely can remove this side now because this is all we wanted just strip it like that now for the actual fun part which is to place down the create mechanics so we're going to be needing four mechanical saws two portable storage interfaces uh three deployers and super glue at the end the mechanical saws are going to be placed here 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 and here and this one i know this one actually isn't covering any dirt but i had issues with only using three so we're adding a fourth. Then we will need to place down a double chest right there. Then we need to take the deployers and kind of place them on an angle like this so that we have the filtering slot right there for us to reach. And uh, that's facing the wrong way around, I just realized. So we can go ahead and right click on this side to turn them 180 degrees. And we want to filter out that it's only going to be placing, oh, 
oak saplings just like that beautiful and we are actually almost done i'm just going to add a stair here if i remember correctly and then place that like so and then we will need the deployer facing downwards like that because what's then going to happen is this is how the items are going to be transferred from this entire thing and i want this to meet right over here near so it hits this block right here and it says hey there's a deployer there could you please empty the inventory for me it's going to say yes of course why well, yeah, of course i can lovely like i said it's going to say yes why of course i will get to do that right away and this is where we need the oak drawer because that needs to be placed like this place a hopper there and then we can put this right back look right let's go ahead and just do that nice now you may be asking but we can't actually reach that i i know i have a plan for that and uh, there we go that is my plan and before i get any comments about this don't look just give me a second this is a completely natural entrance if anyone should ever ask it looks beautiful and i don't know what anyone would comment about about is uh, totally totally fine it's really not absolutely absolutely you know i will uh, off camera be installing like almost a bridge an anti bridge where this is actually held up above this because this really hate this but you get the point this should now actually be completely done so in theory all i need to do is take the super glue and then go ahead and right click here click up here that's going to put everything together do it for here as well then get this one to connect to that glue these together and then do that and everything should now be put together and in here we're going to add all of our oak saplings just like that and um yeah i think i think this should be good we could actually go ahead and place the oak saplings for it i'll place some of these here but this should in theory now work if i just place the water in here and have a thing ready place water there yeah there we go it's it's working and it's currently transferring the saplings which is not really but it can do that once it has actually done an entire round so for now i'll actually just manually take these out so it doesn't stop there i want it to continue there we go um i guess i'll place these for it there we go and it is just gonna keep going around and around and put these in here now so we can place the remaining ones yep this is working beautifully so far and there we go it is actually working if i wanted to stop this thing all i need to do is right click this which will cause these saplings to disappear ideally i'm not going to be stopping this thing and that tree just grew completely automatically and the reason why i stopped it is because i kind of want to change the orientation of these to almost be like a pillar and that should still be glued all together yep so that's fine and then i just right click this thing again and it's gonna continue going just like that and now this is the cool part it reaches this tree we can't really see it but it's breaking it and boom just like that we have automated wood farm look at that we have oak, oak logs and because this is a two by two drawer it's also going to save such as sticks and apples which means i could technically have a food source from this if i so wanted to and i will also go ahead and add some torches because otherwise this thing will get pretty dark just in case we get out here at night time wait can i add a torch on the top hold on i want to actually check, test that out yet yeah, that does hurt by the way <laughs> in case you were curious but can i place a torch up here yes that was glued on i saw the particles could i even add a torch here wait please tell me that i can please tell me that that is going to work all right and then quickly run out of the way place these back <laughs> the torches stay on <laughs> I don't know if they oh oh that um oopsie that's hold on that's not supposed to happen halt break you continue onwards and there we go nice and just like that we have made a fully automatic tree farm how cool is that and that goes yep <laughs> So this is just going to run completely, completely, all the time, non, non-stop, basically. However, ooh, I want to see this. I want to see it one more time. It's so cool. Choppy, 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 chop, and boom, nice. And it replants it just like that, and it's going to do a pit stop over here. Plants all the saplings and just go. Yeah, here's some more logs and some sticks. Go sure. There we go. And then it's gonna depart again. I love it. And another tree just grew. Like this is just cool. However, what else is cool is the fact that I need to make six more of these. So um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna get to work. You don't need to watch me make all of them like I just watched uh, build this one.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I believe with this water wheel placed down, this water bucket quickly filled up and placed, just like so. Some slaps in, and the mechanical bearing placed. That is the seventh and the final plot of the tree farms. Oh boy, that, that took a while. Yeah. And for the collection for this one, because I forgot to place it down, it will be, come on, keybinds right there. Perfect. Yeah, this, uh, this took a while, but it is now done, and I am... I'm happy, which means which means only one more job left to do at long last, and that is to get home, clean up the inventory, quickly craft some new tools, and yes, for me, a sword is a tool. And uh, it just so happens that it looks like that we have a dark forest down here, so I can get the saplings for that tree, and then of course in the savannah I can get the acacia sapling there. I don't. Oh, hello. That's actually a oh jungle temple. I want to check that out at some point. But yeah. I don't think I have any of the other trees nearby, at least not on this map. So we can't completely finish this because I don't have any, um, what's it called, the cherry trees. I don't have any of the cherry trees, nor do I have spruce. But we can at least put the two in that we have access to. This tree right here should do the trick. And that should be that. Hopefully we get some saplings from that. Uh, no, no, we don't. Okay, time for a quick nap, I guess. And no. Oh, wait, we got one. Got one. All I need uh, really is just one. I guess I can try a third one, uh, but otherwise one, uh, it's gonna be enough. I just need to AFK for a bit and then it should be fine. Yep, I think I saw some. That's one, two. Yeah, this should be good. Yep, three acacia saplings. Sling. Nice, I'm happy. Now it does look like that. It actually looks really cool on the map as well. Um, looks like I do need to do a little bit of traveling. Maybe it's going to be easiest if I grab a boat actually. I actually. quickly grab the sugar cane on my way back because I do need to start planting that. Look at that, all the machinery is running. And we can make normal farm plots as well, just not with the sauce, but like we can farm carrots and potato and stuff like that with this as well. So let me just quickly deposit the jungle logs. This can also be chopped down as well. It takes a little bit while longer, but let, let's just witness this because this is going to be absolutely amazing. So here we go, three, two, one, and boom, just like that. That's good. That's be quite a lot of wood and saplings. <laughs> I love this. And I can go ahead and grab some extra apples. That That is basically my food source problem sorted for now. And I should be able to just flop down a boat and follow this river. Um, hello. What is this? Oh, no. This is a spider spawner? Cobweb entanglement. Discover a spider cave. Oh, joy. Um, huh, that's cave spider. Nope, nope. Let me just, uh, yeah, nope. I'm good for now. Uh, good to know that that is here. I guess we can make a spider farm now if we wanted to. Yay! But I do see the dark oak woods over there. Oh, in fact, they're right here as well. Nice. And uh, this is going to take a little bit extra long because I need to chop every single one of the logs here. But as soon as I have done that, we should be good. That's the second, third, and this should be the fourth. And ding! Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I Okay. It took some of that tree as well. <laughs> nice. Um, I guess I should probably probably chop this down now that we're here anyway. Would be a bit mean to leave this, I suppose. Not too pretty. And uh, there we go. We were never here. So head back home. Now I can go ahead and make some acacia drawers and also some dark oak drawers. Right now to decide where each one of these actually goes. Where do I want the acacia? I feel like I want the acacia further away. I think I'm going to plop down the dark oaks over here because they're very big and they, they're very chunky. So let's put them here. Actually, no. We'll put the dark oaks here and I will do that right now. I actually love the view from here. It's awesome. Strip it all down. And I'm going to place these saplings beforehand because otherwise it is not going to know what on earth on earth with them with and place a torch here 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 a less super glue glue there we go that should be everything glued together and i should just be able to right click this to tell it to move forward oh yeah i forgot one thing i forgot one crucial thing and that is adding the portal in the storage interface right there and that should be glued on automatically as we saw from the particles and the kaching nice now to add the collection system somehow and i think that this is going to work to just fine that's going to take a while to grow though so while it is doing that i am going to be adding i think the acacia one right here where without any hesitation i'm doing the storage system first that is that now for the fun for the trash i have no idea how long i have spent on this project 
Interface, mechanical saw, chest and deployer, boop, 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 yes. A cage assembly, go yoink, 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 place, 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 and then just glue it all together. That should be, should it all connected. Let's right click this thing. Nice. Final torch. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, we now have four completely automated tree farms. The cage farm needs to uh, run a little bit, and also the dark tree one, we need to get more saplings. I could use a bone meal if I had any bones. I might do that off camera. Off cam but guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I am tired. <laughs> This has taken, taken so long because I needed way more tough than I expected to and um, yeah, uh, and also resources in general. But it is worth it. It is working. 322 over We have probably way more. Yep, that has even started to start out taking place. That's cool. In fact, I should probably every but the oak one really should be uh, the the double, uh, the one by two drawers because for oak, I really want the, the apples, which I am not no longer getting. So that's fine. So that, but yeah, everywhere else, it should be that because then... Uh, that means the oak saplings are staying, actually staying in there. So yeah, I probably also should upgrade these to have a little bit more capacity, but that is all in due time. In the next episode, I intend to uh, resolve or solve the issue of not having enough resources. So make sure you stay tuned to that because that is probably going to be an even bigger project and an even bigger pain to do actually, now that I think about it. Um, but it's also going to be very fun and uh, also very lucrative in the and also this okay i just wait what one two three four five six seven okay yes i did make seven i did make a place down uh this was the seventh marker but i didn't feel like it really fit it in uh so i added it over there instead i got scared <laughs> that i missed one <laughs> But guys, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you're new, do consider do hitting that subscribe button. It greatly helps out the channel. Both of those, both of those, and be sure to tune in for next episode where we're going to solve our resource missing gathering problem solving thing. We're going to get a lot of resources, basically. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, goodbye.